All right, welcome back to the programming language series where we're going to build a statically typed and JIT compiled language all using Python and LLVM Lite. Last time we set up the compiler for most of the operations that we needed, but we do need to come back and really quickly get the modulus operations up and running, and we need to add all of our float operations as well. So this will be kind of a short um, bridging video into the next section of the series where we're going to start implementing um, more of our language features. So we can get on with this and get into our compiler class. We're going to pretty much stay in the visit infix expression method for right now. We need to add another case right here for the modulus operator which is our percent sign. And we'll set a value equals self dot builder dot s rem so like signed integer remainder pretty much and we'll set that with our left value and our right value now we'll go ahead and add exponent the exponent case here but we'll put slap a to do here um, there's just a couple issues I'm having off camera getting this to actually work in the way I'm intending it to. So this will come back at a little bit later of a date. Now we need to handle the floats. So we're going to add another if statement onto this. So elif in instance, we'll do the right type. And it'll be an ir.float type. If the right type is an ir float type and the left type is a float type. We want to set our type variable to ir.float type. We want to make a new match. And we'll keep, we can go ahead and let's do a match on operator. Case, we'll do the plus sign first. Value equals self.builder. So since we're adding floats now, instead of the add function, we'll use the fadd function. And we'll just do the left value adding it to the right value. Make our new case with the minus sign. Value equals self.builder f sub left value right value. And we'll add another case multiply. And do a value equals self.builder dot f multiply. Left value and right value. Next one will be our division. So value equals self dot builder dot f div left value and our right value. Next case will be our modulus operator. So value equals self dot builder dot f rem left value, right value. Now we'll go ahead and put our to do for the exponents. Hopefully in the next episode I can have that as well. But that is it for the modulus operators and the float operations. So we can go ahead and go to our tests in our compiler.test in our main.py file, we're setting this to compiler.lime. So five times five, five plus five we know works. So let's add floats, so 4.20 for no apparent reason at all, times five. We can go ahead and python main.py that and check out our IR code. So it looks like we're having a issue here with, oh, 4.20 times five. So we do not have floats time integers implemented yet. So we need to make this a float as well. So 5.1 and then here we go. So floats are a little weird. It's got the hex addresses of these floats, but we are multiplying floats together. So that's great. Um, let's do a 
modulus operations. We'll do modulus on floats first. So in our IR file, we'll go ahead and split this. So in our IR file, we have the FRAM, so that's good. And then we'll do our integers now, just to make sure these work. So four modulus five, SRAM for integer four and five. Okay. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, moving on to episode five, we're going to get into the meat potatoes of our language. And we're going to start implementing more language features. I'm still not sure if I'm going to do functions or variables first. I think I'm going to do functions so we can get the printf out of the way. And we can execute our program and start to see all of this multiplication and arithmetic operations working in action. So thank you for watching. I will see you guys in episode five.